will stand trial in the deadly stabbing of a girl inside a classroom at Warren High School. The day new revelations about what Tanea Lewis allegedly told detectives in the aftermath of the attack. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson live at the courthouse with the final testimony heard today. Jennifer Ann? Yeah, so the detective that took Tanea Lewis's statement took the stand. He says Tanea told him right off the bat she was a straight-A student, and before she would give any statement, she demanded to speak to a boy named Evan. She stated that they were working on their relationship at the current time. She stated that he was the love of her life. And she stated that Miss Gibson had ruined everything. Detective Jim Tordeski took Tanea Lewis's statement almost immediately after the stabbing. I asked her how she knew Miss Gibson. She stated I don't like her. I then asked for clarification on what, why she didn't like her, and then she stated I hate her. Deanna Gibson was stabbed to death with a steak knife back in September in the midst of class at Warren Fitzgerald High School. Tanea Lewis is charged with first-degree murder in her death. Detective Jim Tordeski says he asked her in the interview how the day began. She indicated that she had fed the dog and then taken a knife out of the kitchen, a small knife out of the kitchen, and brought that with her. The detective says Lewis only described events before and after the stabbing. She was listening to music, and then at some point the class was stood up to get into different groups. She then indicated that she was facing uh, Miss Gibson, um, and then she remembers uh, everything going dark. Now, her defense attorney did point out that she was on medication for depression, but didn't go beyond that and didn't have much of a rebuttal. Prosecution says he still believes there is plenty of evidence to support a first-degree murder charge. Reporting live in Warren, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Yeah, Jen, what a tragedy indeed. Thank you for that lively stabbing of a girl inside a classroom at Warren Fitzgerald High School. At a hearing today, the suspect's former boyfriend took the stand and revealed what he believes is the motive in the case. Coco McAvoy following this for us. She's in Warren tonight. Uh, Coco, he says rumors basically sparked the whole thing. Yes, rumors and jealousy may have contributed to this deadly attack. And today in court, text messages from the suspect were read aloud and they revealed disturbing new details. Tanea Lewis sat silently, keeping her head down in court as witnesses revealed chilling details about the day 16-year-old Diana Gibson was stabbed to death. She is laying face down and there's blood around her. Lewis's ex-boyfriend, Evan Grospe, spoke of a controlling relationship, saying Lewis didn't like his friendship with Diana. She was yelling at me, like, don't have no girl in my house. Don't, go don't have no girl at your house. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to talk to no girls. She's not allowed over anymore. He says Diana told him Lewis cheated on him, and he asked Lewis about it directly. What were her responses? You weren't supposed to find out about this. I'm a I was supposed to take this to my grave. He says Lewis figured out Diana was the source of the information. And then moments before the stabbing, he got a confusing text message from Lewis. She keeps asking me, do you like Diana? Do you like Diana? And I'm telling her, no, I don't have to tell you. And she goes, it's time. And I'm like, what do you mean? And that's when he found out Diana had been stabbed repeatedly inside of a classroom. I text her again asking, what'd you do? Why'd you do this? There could have been another way but she never responded. Now, Lewis will have to answer to a judge in the murder of her classmate, Diana Gibson. Such an awful story. And coming up at six o'clock, you'll hear from the teacher who was inside the classroom during that stabbing.